Hey friends, February is nearly over. Yay. <laughs> uh, so I thought I would check in now that the ice has receded and temperatures have moderated here in Montana. I thought I would check in with uh, so the, some of the fish that we have been following this winter. Uh, I won't be checking in with all of those small trout that uh, you've seen in the last couple of weeks' videos because there's a mountain lion there on a kill. <laughs> there's a mountain lion in here. I see you in there. Oh, I see him. Did you see him? Uh, anyways, even walking in here, I followed deer tracks that was followed by a mountain lion, but they were a day or two old. Anyways, the dangers of living in Montana. There's, uh, I'm not sure if the video is picking up, but there's some little fish rising here in the hidey hole. I'm gonna plant cameras and see how the fish did this winter. cool. We have a hatch today. It's February, what, 22? So here's a treat. These are Nomura stoneflies. They have just hatched out of this little backwater where I'm filming trout and they're crawling up the snow. I'm happy that most of the fish that we were watching back in December here are still here. I was really worried a couple weeks ago when I walked by and found a dead uh, brown trout right on the shore here. <coughs> there were also entrails out in that pool. Of course, as you look up, there's trees that I often saw eagles in. I thought for sure they were feeding on the, the trout here in the hidey hole. I, this is gonna sound crazy, you ready for this? I didn't recognize the brown trout that was dead here. He was not one of the browns that live here. So perhaps uh, the eagle caught this brown and came to his favorite tree to eat it. Getting back to recognizing uh, the trout. They all have their unique characteristics. The more you watch them, and I watch them a lot as I go through the video clips in order to make these videos. The brown trout here have the coolest feature, and I'll point it out in the video. They have the coolest feature. They have like darkness by their eyes. It almost makes them have that raccoon look, and a lot of them have it, young to older. There's two rainbows and one cut bow. One of the rainbows has a notched tail and is different on one side of their body to the other. One side is definitely darker. And that one cut bow, I'm sure you've seen it. She's nearly yellow. She does not look like any other trout that I've filmed here on Rock Creek. This will be my last underwater video of this winter for here. When uh, it's rainbow and cutthroat spawning, I'm hoping to get some footage of that, but that won't be till May. After this, it's fishing for today, meet some of the trout that we've been filming.
next week, it'll be March. <laughs> and uh, that means next week's I'll be on the river somewhere. Perhaps Upper Rock Creek, perhaps Upper Clock Fork. Can't wait. See you then.